Nice rear living room, uh, lightweight, easy towing, 26 foot uh, outback travel trailer just came in on trade here at Haylet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, the uh, Outback's always been one of uh, Keystone's best selling, uh, most popular lightweight lines. There's a lot of good things going on here that I see that I don't always see in every trailer. Um, they, uh, they take the extra time to add a little um, seal uh, enclosure on their piano hinge here in the baggage doors. If that wasn't there, the water would start seeping down into that seal and it would freeze and expand and it would bust that seal up over time. So you don't really have that potential for failure here. And that's what I see uh, on a lot of this is there's a lot of areas where travel trailers can fail and they've really taken the time and effort and attention to address those areas as best as they can. Outbacks have always been known for the uh, the miniature outdoor kitchen, and I've always kind of thought they were the originators of, uh, originators of that whole outdoor kitchen concept. You see it now in different forms, a lot of times in bunkhouses, but um, Outback's been doing it for a lot longer than just about anybody else. And the calling card of the rear living room is, of course, the, the big windows and all the windows in the living room. Let's step inside here real quick. Um, this has, uh, I believe, enclosed, insulated, heated underbelly. I'm not going to call this a Four Seasons camper. It definitely does not hold that kind of potential. But it is good for cold weather camping. Um, you know, for um, extended season camping might be a better way to phrase it. You see the uh, the little um, lighter colored cabinetry. That's kind of a, uh, a callback to the, uh, the history of the Outback trailer. They used to be really well known for having just this all white, stark white interior. And they've toned that down a little bit. It was very polarizing. Some people either loved it or just really didn't care for it. And now you kind of get a, a little bit of both and you get a fun feel out of it. And it does still do a lot to brighten up this interior and make it very comfortable for everybody involved. Lots of cabinetry and you do have drawers for things like, um, you know, your forks, spoons, knives. And I got to tell you, as I look around in here, these people really, really kept the interior clean. The woodwork isn't scarred up and nicked up and damaged. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you look at areas here like the sofa, which is a high traffic area that gets a lot of seating, you can see that this isn't uh, just completely destroyed. <clears throat> the rear chairs are pretty similar as well. I, I like that we have not only windows in the sides of the slide, but one, they're large, and two, they open, so you do get cross ventilation in here. Just a lot of smart things like that that Keystone has learned is just a real hot ticket item over the years. The entertainment center, uh, spins between the living room and the bedroom. You see the TV was uh, left in here when it came in on trade. And on the back side we have this handy little mirror so that whatever direction it's facing it adds that extra element of um, space and perception. Your uh, stereo is also DVD player so this is a very simple package. You just hop in, turn it on, head on out. <clears throat> Pretty common front bedroom design. Not too much to mention up here other than the fact that there's no defects. The front corners up here in these cabinets are often the first places you'll find leaks in an RV. And that's the first place we look as soon as something comes in on trade in this one. This is good to go. It, it needs a, uh, just a quick exterior bath and then she's ready to roll. The uh, shower is, or the whole bathroom area is, it's, some people look at it and go, oh, it's a little small, but it's laid out properly. You can actually still sit at that stool and have room for your legs. And I did notice this. I thought this was cool. Handy little, um, you know, clothes hamper. Can't beat it. Why not? And how, I can't even tell you how many travel trailers and fifth wheels even I go through that have no place to put towels in the bathroom. What good is a bathroom if you don't have a place for a towel? I don't know about you. Maybe it's just me. I forget to grab my towel when I hop out of the shower all the time and I have to do that quick quick little one, two, three tiptoe step across the floor to go get my towel. And meanwhile, you're dripping water everywhere. and You just don't have that problem here. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hail it Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you.